whatever was happening there to anchor in that light is not there anymore, but I can still feel it. And because I was there and I even lived there for a while, uh, I carry it in me. And so every place that we've been to, we carry inside. And it's like it rec- we, we record the energy of the places that we go to. And just like every person has its own energy, so does every place have its own energy. And there, that's recorded inside. And these are like songs, uh, frequencies. But frequencies a- as in a mandala, right? Like it's very unique concoction pattern song yeah each person each location location and person and just the feeling of it and it was it was it felt really bad and they were telling me yeah it's it's the detox it because as it's coming out you know you haven't felt this uh from a neutral perspective yet this is why it couldn't make its full revolution because it has to be in order to be let through that zero point or into the zero point to the plonk threshold so into the tiniest form it has to find that phi ratio geometry that natural living geometry and if there is a resistance to i don't like this right It can't find that because we push it away. Witnessing, holding space for that bad feeling that recalibrate it so it can fold, Uh. reconcile, and find that be realigned into the fractal, a, a fractal, a natural fractal, which is that phi ratio, so it can then collapse exactly. So that charge that energy can collapse and go through the zero point that's it's dying to this world and then it has done its full revolution it's complete then it can be fed back through the heart into the next higher version of yourself you're done with you've you've completely assimilate reassimilated it or assimilated it when it came to you first, it was new. Information that can be received there from the more fractal down denser version of yourself. And then can the feedback from your higher version of yourself come through at the same time because it's always an exchange. And so then that standing wave, that longitudinal wave, that bigger array, that array that is connected into the all that is into this because it has to go through the zero point and so and then it you know it packs into the zero point and it unpacks in the next higher dimension uh, and version of yourself consciousness however it has to be a shareable wave so that it can be aligned into the zero point which is the highest version of yourself, the illusion feels the the 12th dimension. What then also happens is, so I'm waking up from this dream and it feels really bad and then they tell me, good, that you, that you now, that it's so tangible, right? Now you had, you, you were just in this dream. It's, now you can still taste it. You can still, you, you can feel and you have the association with this location with these people because in the dream what was happening it wasn't it wasn't any kind of a memory or a real dream it was a what the mind will do like what the what the soul will concoct or what the mind soul the unconscious mind or what is in the unconscious is that fabric is used everything that hasn't been uh, digested and assimilated yet so it was like many different people that were holding this feeling were woven into one and also of this particular feeling i can't even tell you what the feeling is you know (laughs) but they said okay good good now it's still fresh so now just feel it
you know, give that space and be like the, yeah, be the observer, be like that neutral observer of it and be grateful that, okay, you can be grateful only when you understand that what is happening right now is just finally moving. You know, you can, this is now your opportunity to assimilate that, which would be to recalibrate it and and that would mean also to dissolve that bad feeling about it. Because, uh, yeah, because that's what happens. Because first I woke up and I thought, oh, man, this feels so bad. And then they also said, <laughs> you're so full with all this food that you've been eating. It's, it's like the outside physical expression of what you've been doing what you've been doing on the, on the inside, you know, of I'm so full with all these impressions because when I go to a place, I am super wide open. And I, I never learned how to protect myself. How, to, in fact, that was a part of my conditioning was that I wasn't allowed to have boundaries. It's just walking through the my life sucking it all up and it, we're through the lifting of the vibrations where it's I'm so full and it needs to start to be assimilated it needs to be digested my body feels so heavy and yet I'm like hungry all the time and I'm also eating some things that are not so good for me digesting the like old stuff feelings frequencies that i have recorded somehow i never assimilated them because they stayed stuck because i was always resisting them i was always judging them too so when i was lying there they were saying great this is the opportunity now through this dream because the first reaction was oh what a horrible dream but that now it's like ah now you can lie here in bed and perfectly simply feel this whole landscape of frequency of emotion and all of that what it, everything you know that bundle of feeling without judging it because it's just it just needs to move through and it can only move through if you can hold space for it. So this is all you got to do now to feel better is, is hold space for it. And then the next thing was the antidotes. The senses of the places and the people that I also recorded and, and soaked, it, soaked in that, were, that held this light even though I enjoyed being in those places and with those people, but maybe I didn't even realize this other additional value of being there or being with them, which is the perfect antidote to these other recordings, which I can also, not that I do it consciously, oh, what's the antidote, but it shows up and that's what happened. So another place or another person will show up in the same way. You can feel that just like I felt like before when I saw these trees popping. I felt I was reminded of how that area feels. There I have some memories where there was light. These are not feelings that I can describe. So those were the antidotes and then they were showing up. And then I realized how they, when they show up as an answer to when we, when, when the other undigested, unreceived, the resisted frequencies that we've been exposed to and that we have drawn, uh, yeah, that we have experienced and soaked in, when we are willing and conscious enough to hold space for them that then we draw upon this can happen then that the antidote also shows up and it does exactly that it is it helps us to just it's like the that 
then it goes really quick and it's gone. And that now is a part of once that has happened and we were conscious to that event, otherwise we wouldn't know that it, otherwise it wouldn't have happened and we wouldn't have known that it happened. Then that, this event is recorded. And whenever this happens again, something like this, you know, like the next in line shows up, then we're like, ah, it's this process. And then it goes so much easier.